more of a tally. On this episode of Learn in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make my world famous mac and cheese. It's so simple and easy. It's not the kind of mac and cheese you get out of a box. It is so hearty and delicious, ooey gooey, full of cheeses. Oh, it's just delicious. But before we get started, we need to go over the ingredients. You'll need some pasta, and I'm choosing to use my corkscrew pasta, whole milk that's been warmed, some grated cheddar, whole milk mozzarella, freshly grated parmigiano reggiano, some breadcrumbs, some flour, pancetta, butter, and you're also going to need a tiny bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. Very simple and easy, and this is so delicious. Now, I make mine with three different kinds of cheeses, and I'm, my favorites are the combination I'm using today, which is sharp cheddar, mozzarella, and parmigiano. Why? Because the sharp cheddar has a lot of really sharp, tangy flavor. The mozzarella just melts into the most delicious, ooey, gooey texture, and the parmigiano has a really nice, nutty flavor. So I think it makes a great combo, but you can use whatever you want. If you want to use Swiss, Gruyere, please, by all means, do that. I don't use Swiss only because I think it's a little too strong and it overpowers everything else. So, that's why I'm choosing this combination. Now, I make mine with some cubed up and then sautéed pancetta. It is so delicious. Pancetta is pretty much the Italian version of bacon, except it's not smoked. You can find it pretty much in any supermarket nowadays, but if you can't find it, you can always substitute with bacon and you kind of want to chop it up into nice small pieces. Okay, first thing you want to do, Get your oven to 400, get that ready. Second thing you want to do is get a big pot, fill it with water, nice sprinkling of salt, get that to come up to a boil for your pasta. Now we need to head over to the stove so we can make our bechamel and saute up our pancetta. I've added my pasta to my boiling water and while that cooks we're going to work on the pancetta and the bechamel. Now I have a little skillet here with about less than a tablespoon of olive oil, probably about a teaspoon and a half. And to that I'm going to add my pancetta. And what we're going to do is just let this cook until it's nice and crispy. It'll take about three to four minutes. Let that go. And now in this pan, over medium-high heat, I'm adding my butter. And I'm letting the butter melt. That looks good. Now I'm going to add in my flour. And I'm just going to keep stirring this until it all comes together. And I'm going to cook it for about a minute so it gets rid of that raw, floury taste. And it doesn't taste like glue. It tastes it's like a nice cooked roux. Just keep stirring, otherwise it will stick. Now to that, I'm going to add my milk. Just doing it really slowly and whisking the whole time, or stirring I should say, because I'm just trying to avoid any lumps. So just add all of your milk little by little. Now that I've added all my milk, you want to make sure it's nice and smooth, so you might have to stir it for about a minute. You want to cook this until it's nice and thick, which will take about three to four minutes. And also, the pancetta is perfectly cooked. I turn it off, and now I'm just going to drain it onto a, just a, a plate, and then we're going to finish assembling the whole thing. My bechamel looks perfect, but now it needs to be seasoned. I'm just going to season it with black pepper. My mother would have a heart attack at this, moment, this point because she really likes to use white pepper in her bechamel, but she's not here today, so I'm going to use black pepper. Some salt, not too much salt, only because we have this, the pasta that's already been seasoned with salt. And we're adding so many cheeses and the pancetta that it doesn't really need it. I'm then going to add my grated sharp cheddar, my grated mozzarella. This whole milk mozzarella melts beautifully. And half of the parmigiano. And I'll show you why I'm only doing half. And I'm just going to stir this all together because this is really hot until all the cheeses have melted beautifully. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm going to just take my pasta that I've drained and I've let this cook until it's nice and al dente. Actually, a little bit shorter, you know, a little bit less than al dente only because it's going to be in the oven for a little bit and I don't want to overcook it. I'm then going to add my creamy cheese sauce, I think that's plenty, to my pasta and I'm just going to mix it all together with a pancetta. Just mix it all up like so. I'm just putting this into my casserole dish. I'm trying to get it all out. Don't leave anything behind. Just kind of even it out. I mean, admittedly, this is a very rich dish. I'll admit that. 
but this is not the kind of thing I eat every day, and I'm certainly not suggesting that you eat this every day, but once in a while you just crave some comfort food, and this is perfect. I've just put a little bit more sauce over the top. It's gorgeous, I love that look. I am then going to top it with some breadcrumbs, and this is going to give you such a nice crispy topping. Oh, probably my favorite part of this dish. <laughs> and then the remaining parmigiano, just evenly over the top. That looks just gorgeous. Makes like a really crispy crust. And then I'm going to drizzle it with just a touch of olive oil, just to help the breadcrumbs kind of brown up. Wonderful. Now this is going to go into your preheated oven, 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes until the top is nicely golden brown. And then we're going to eat it. What else is it to do? I took my mac and cheese out of the oven and this just baked for about 25 minutes so the top was nice and golden and it looks incredible. It smells even better. I let this cool for about five minutes only because I don't have the willpower to let it wait once it's on my plate. So, oh, look at that crust. You see that? Look at the cheesy sauce. Oh, this is a dinner for champions, I tell you. Serve this with a simple green salad and you have got a great, oh, steam, great dinner. Hot. Mmm. It's super creamy. It's so nice and tangy from all the different cheeses. Makes such a great blend. The pancetta puts it over the top, but this crust right here. <gasps> Hear that? It's so delicious. I guarantee it. Once you make this mac and cheese, you will never, ever buy a box of mac and cheese ever again. There's no need to. You can make it from scratch. You can make it in no time. It's super simple and easy. I mean, if I can do it, you can do it. And that's it. I mean, you saw it, and it's incredible. I'm telling you, just serve this along with a simple salad, and you have a fantastic dinner to share with your loved ones, and they're going to rave about it. That's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed spending time with me. To get this recipe and others, go to www.laurainthekitchen.com. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. off me.